everybody in YouTube land and welcome back to part three of my six part Halloween horror comics special and today I have a very obscure comic book called Bl The Blood of Dracula by Apple Comics. Now I happen to find five issues of these in an armoire in a basement of a house we moved into. They were in a garbage bag with dozens of other comic books, most of them DC comic books, which I wasn't really interested in, so I just picked and chose the ones I wanted to keep. And these just so happened to stick out to me. Now, as you can see, I have issues 8 through 12, and they're all in black and white anthology comic books there's like two to three different sto short stories per comic book we have uh, Dracula 2099 we have Death Dreams of Dracula um, I do believe yeah Count Dracula is another story that's in this book and each one of them contains three different stories Mostly, uh, Dracula 2020, not, or 2099, and, um, Count Dracula, as well as present-day Dracula. Now, in these, Dracula plays a good guy who only feeds upon the blood of bad guys. And the reason why I have this one right here on top is because the first story in this book is particularly my favorite because Dracula actually takes um, takes this one dude who's infected with AIDS turns him into a vampire so he'll be able to live and AIDS won't kill him and then gives the disease to a serial killer who's constantly killing people and has been caught and incarcerated in the same prison as this one dude and it's a really really cool storyline for something that's such only like four or five pages long because in the end, the doctors who are doing experiments, dream experiments on some of the prisoners, think that the one prisoner that they infected with AIDS was just dreamed it. So he's not really infected when in all actuality he is. I mean, it, it's a really, really cool story. And it, it yeah, the dude that in the story uh, gets what he deserves but um I mean I, I really can't say enough about these storylines I'm not really one to be interested in black and white comics but these were actually pretty cool pretty good I mean I was really surprised with the storylines and everything. Now, if you can find these, I would definitely recommend them. But yeah, here's a little deal of the three different storylines that are in each book. Okay, it's twenty one ninety nine, not twenty ninety nine. My mistake. But I figured I'd bring these to you because they're extremely obscure comics. I, I've never seen these in a comic book store prior to or since. I have found these in the basement that one time. So I don't even know if Apple Comics still exists or not. But and go ahead and uh, open up another issue right here for you guys. Yeah, first page, Count Dracula opens up with a dude's head on a silver platter. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that.
but that's that's pretty much it I mean as you can see from the black and white and from the covers it, they're really excellent artwork to these and we even got a black and white Bella Lugosi picture here from one of the movies which was pretty cool this one's like a bunch of different letters written by that written by the main chick in the storyline about everything that happened I'm guessing that I can't remember the story off the top of my head but I think that was his mom but anyway that's pretty much all I've got so if you guys have made it to the end of this and you like what you've seen please hit that thumbs up button go ahead and uh, leave me some comments below tell me what you think and uh, mostly I do AliExpress Lego review videos so if that would be something you're interested in and you want to see some more of these episodes of the Halloween Horror Comics special, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notifications bell so you can be notified for whenever these come out. And that's pretty much all I've got. So until next time, I'm Bones, you are whoever you are, and I am out of here.